the main focus of this business is to create a platform for discussion and dialogue for promoting trade and business from India to select Afro-Asian countries and to explore the trade opportunities in African and Asian countries. This is the main objective of the seminar. The objectives are of the conference is to promote trade and business from India to select Afro-Asian countries with the fair opportunities for both exporters and importers between the countries. To understand the procedural difficulties in exploring from India to have select African and Asian countries. The connect the product based common interest group participants with chamber representing in Afro-Asian countries. That is what I told you at the end of the conference. We are going to have B2B meetings where we expect a lot of other participants to communicate with the Asian Africa Afro-Asian countries who are going to be there in the seminar. Thank you. Please propose to participate on Malaysia, Myanmar from Asian countries, and Uganda, Kenya, and Ghana from African countries. I welcome you all to this press meet and invite you to give a best coverage about the event in your esteemed media. Before we go further on this, I will request Mr. Navesh to play the sneak peek of what is the organization about, what does Amra Chamber do, and what is this program about. There is a small AV. I request Mr. Navesh to play on this.
Thank all the press for this meeting. And I'm happy that all of you turned up on time for the press meet, though it is a very hot evening. As you know, the chamber is 92 years old with 150,500 members all over India. And we have chapters in Visakhapatnam, Vijayawada, Nellore, and Chennai, of course, and Hyderabad. But the chamber's main business is to help the people to trade and interconnect with the like mind business people. So, based on this, we took a lot of delegations which you would have seen on the movie just now. And also, we are planning to do this 30th Asian, Afro Asian countries to be invited, and also people from India. We have like, I mean, the people have coming from Kenya, as Vijayalakshmi told you already, Kenya, Myanmar, Ghana, Uganda, and Malaysia. So we are going to have a long day session on 30th of this month. So I'd like all of you to come and cover the whole meet. Actually, the government of India presently working on comprehensive strategy to boost India-African bilateral trade, which is standing at US dollars 62 billion in the financial year 2018. Almost all African countries, barring one, have entered into this free trade agreement. This is a very significant move from India's point of view, but a marketing breach. As per study by the World Bank, most African countries are expected to reach middle income levels by 2025 if current growth rate continues. Trade and investment go hand in hand. So we have, a, we have to convert business into opportunities. And our focus on this business meet is to create those opportunities in promoting bilateral trade business between the countries. Similarly, bilateral trade between Asia, Asian and India has crossed US dollars 80 billion, which not only shows growing confidence, but also constitutes the highest volume of trade in groups that Asia and India have witnessed since 2010. In this growth, countries' Asian-India trade is likely to touch USD 100 billion. Myanmar, one of the important members of Asia, is considered as gateway to our eastern neighbors. Indian pharmaceutical industry is present significantly there, while Myanmar imports finished goods and IT in services. It offers agricultural produce and other raw materials. The major sector for India's export include electronic goods, vegetables, rice, sugar, textile, dairy, to countries like Malaysia, Ghana, and Myanmar. Automobile exports is prevalent in Kenya. Some of the imports from African countries include coffee beans, tea, metal scraps, wood, semi-precious stones, cotton, and beans. It is extremely heartening to see that both India and several African countries maintain high economic growth rates over the recent past and today even as the global economy is faced with several bilateral trends, the two regions are seen as the bright spot in the global map of the development. There is also dialogue between the governments addressing issues such as logistics, smoothing trade barriers, etc. Of course, I have already spoken about the Agra Chamber. So, and we have also activated a women's forum in this chamber. And we have about 36 to 38 women entrepreneurs who participate in the programs. So this is one of the 
major thing which we started two years ago. So, so any other questions you would like to answer or would you like to talk about something? So how much is the Andhra when Chamber of Commerce contribute to the 80 billion and uh, to that? this total trade? Total. Oh, this 80, 80 billion is it Asian African trade? Billion. Yeah. How much does the Andhra Chamber contribute? You see that. Well, some percentage. <laughs> that yeah, as and now when we get the opportunity, we can think of contributing. So we work. Yeah. So, what is the support you seek from the government? What is the support you seek from the government? Well, I mean, we have government institutes come and speak to us on a lot of these uh, seminars where we conduct. In a year, we conduct almost uh, not a, probably a seminar, but a, uh, we call it uh, conferences and so on, at least one a month. So depending on, we we invite uh, members from taxation to give the uh, review to the members and also we do uh, business trade agreements with the other chambers as well as outside the country. So one such thing we are planning tomorrow with the German organization where we are going to tie up FNST. Right? FNST who have been very helpful for us, they have been supporting us. So they are going to dialogue with us tomorrow to do a joint ventures and fly on climate change throughout the year. Free consultancy. Yeah, we have a free consultancy every Saturday. And uh, any, anybody would like to go and meet. And it was on Saturday mornings. They are there for two, three hours. Opposite subjects. Of different subjects, yeah. One on taxation, export import, foreign trade, company law, or different subjects. And we also take delegations to, to, to other countries as well as to the local factories, visit to the factories, industry stuff. So that is one of the activities which we take part. Uh, this is the first time you are submitting this subject. I have to wait for you. Yes, the first time for the chamber. For this chamber. Yes. This is actually a new chamber conducting a meeting along with uh, foreign delegates, uh, uh, inviting them as a participant. This first business meeting we are trying as an instrument. And uh, other chambers are also watching how it takes. Earlier, it is all government calling people and now. This time, we are trying to encourage private people to participate in the report. And we are not depending on the government sponsorships or anything. As you can see, all the sponsors are all uh, local. And uh, mainly, another thing, even though we are mainly the Andhra Chamber, we would have seen that uh, our uh, membership is spread out. Not only in Andhra, Telangana, even outside uh, Karnataka, some are from Chandigarh and others because of the business dealings they are having in these countries, in these states. And uh, originally, when uh, the chamber was started, those days, the countries mainly depend on the agriculture and other things. Now things have changed. Now you also find that. Uh, Entire operations are changed like and so many other things. And we are educating our members to follow this rule and make it changes. We have different branches to conduct seminars so that our members get uh, exposure to these changes. The government changes are fast and we also have to make it What is the main focus for this summit? Uh, are we going to focus on Manufacturing sector or trading or something like that. We need we need theme of this. Or of trade or trade and man, maybe manufacturing depending on the people one to one. We have at the end of the day on thirtieth we have B two B meeting which would uh, translate into business. That's that's what we are hoping. The response the 
general atmosphere is a little, and, and this is the time where we need such uh, business needs to give encouragement to the business people and also to show to the other countries everything is going on well, maybe with certain adjustments they will be still focused. And we all know the entire world is now looking for India. So this is the right time for us to show to other countries how we could involve ourselves and develop this. Any other questions? You can see everybody. <coughs> Sir, 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 okay.